Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel I Can Tech. In this quick video, I am going to give you some important updates about the SenseCap Helium Miner. The best thing about SenseCap is that you don't have to wait for 5 to 6 months and you get a chance to obtain a Helium Miner as soon as by the end of July or early August 2021. I'll share with you the price of their product, which distributors are going to sell those some important or useful features of their miner and more. So let's jump in. We'll first check their announcement on the official Discord server. So you can see that this message has been posted today and here are the updates. The global MSRP which stands for manufacturer suggested retail price of the SenseCap M1 miner is about uh, is 519 US dollars. However, the actual price at our partner's platform might include shipping costs and VAT, which means the price that you have to pay will be more than 519 US dollars and it will probably depend on which seller you are buying from, so they might slightly vary. This is also, uh, the next point is also very important, in the first batch, they have only 745 pieces available. Out of those, 445 are US versions, so 915 MHz and 300 are European versions, which is 868 MHz. Uh, however, the good news is that for the second batch, a few thousand pieces will be available in late July and they will provide the exact number later on. So this is a good thing, so even if you fail, uh, uh, fail to purchase a Sense Capillia Miner in the first batch, you will have a chance to buy in the second batch. Now, uh, for the first batch, it will only be sold through distributors and you will not be able to purchase it through the official site, official product page, which is sensecapmx.com. Uh, they, ha they have currently four distributors, uh, one for US and three for Europe. I will give all the links in the description. And um, then uh, all stock will be exclusively for retail, bulk orders are not accepted. So this is a good thing because there are many companies wants to uh, buy uh, a lot of helium miners so that they can have their hosting program or something but this gives all the individual people to have the opportunity to purchase themselves um, so our distributors will release more info about restrictions and plans um, then the next point is uh, distributors will have their own release plan and they will all try their best to provide fair opportunities to everyone so this is a good thing all the people will get a fair chance to buy the Helium hotspots. Uh, we are starting to ship the distributors, this ship to distributors this week, and they should receive the products around mid of July. So once they receive, they will be immediately able to sell it to the to the customers. Which means that uh, you don't have to wait for four to five months, and the product is available immediately, and it will be probably shipped to you within a week or so. Um, then. They are, also, they are also talking to other partners distributors and will release more information later on. So they have shared a bunch of images showing that their since Capilia miners are ready for shipping. Alright, let us check their website. So they have prepared their webpage very nicely and you will find answers to most of your questions related to their product on this site. So we'll go and check the overview page. Here you'll have, they have the description about their product and the important features are they are using raspberry pi 4 module with 64 gb large storage and these are the things that will be in the box and uh, i believe the micro sd card will be already installed inside the miner and you don't have to do it yourself so all you need to do is plug in the antenna and power it up and start uh, setting it up uh, on the back side of the hotspot you have rp sma female connector for the antenna there is a button which will be used for uh, setting up uh, on the Helium app. Then there is a LED indicator. I'll talk about that in a moment. Then USB Type-C uh, port for powering it up and then Ethernet port. So here you can see there they have four LED modes. If it's off, it means either it's turned off, there is no power or it's, turned, uh, it's powering up. And it takes about 30 seconds to show you some light on the uh, LED. If it's flashing very quickly, it means it's not connected to the internet or not connected to the Helium network. Uh, you have to press the button for 5 seconds to enter to the configuration mode. Uh, after pressing it for 5 seconds, it will flash so slowly, indicating that it has entered into the configuration mode and you have 10 minutes to set it up with the using the Helium app. 
if it's uh, not blinking and there is a constant light that means it has successfully connected to the uh, peer to peer helium network and basically you are earning HNT at this point. Uh, another very useful feature they have is that they provide the Wi-Fi MAC address and Ethernet MAC address printed on the back side of the product. This is very useful because you know uh, after uh, uh, configuring it you have to set up the port forwarding so that your, your hotspot is not relayed and connected to the Helios peer-to-peer -peer network. For that you need to know the local IP address and you can you can use this mac address to ident identify which one is your helium miner so that you can perform the port forwarding very easily uh, we'll go back here and check the quick start page so in and in this page they have uh, shown that how to set up your helium miner and connect it to the helium network and it's very nicely written very uh, should not have any problem uh, with your hotspot if you follow the instructions on this page then uh, the data sheet uh, shows you some other important information and out of that I think the most important one is this uh, this fact that the European 868 version covers 863 to 870 MHz which also covers the Indian 865 MHz so basically they have the auto switching capability and the Helium hotspot will use the right frequency depending on which country you are placing it at. Um, then the US 915 version has 902 to 928 MHz so it also covers the 923 MHz which is used by most of the many of the uh, Asian countries and then the uh, antenna uh, for US 915 it has a default the stock antenna has 2.6 dBi gain for European 868 it has 2.8 dBi gain and there are some other uh, features listed here you can go through them uh, then again they have a very nice troubleshooting page if you have any trouble setting it up you should consult this page then in the resources page uh, you can look at the distributors uh, currently there are four of them uh, one for us three for europe uh, i have checked their pages individually and there i didn't see any information regarding SenseCap on their sites except for uh, uca technologies which is a european distributor and on their page you can see there is a banner saying that SenseCap m1 indoor, indoor gateway is coming soon I think uh, other people are also pre preparing their website and it will come soon and you will be able to order it. And then finally there is a, a FAQ page, uh, you can look into it if you have any question uh, regarding their product. So they have answers to uh, most of the questions there. I hope many of you will be able to get the SenseCap Helium Miner pretty soon and start HNT earning. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.